Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome here on this beautiful Monday morning to the Victory in Biz Accountability and Success Call with me, Vanessa, your confidence and success coach. And I'm so happy to be here. And I'm so happy to see all of you. Wow, here on what's technically a holiday today. I'm I'm super happy to see all these beautiful faces. Um, good morning, good morning. Give me a wave. I'm just kind of, it's early for me. I'm not used to doing this at 9 a.m. because I'm in California now, right? <laughs> so I was like, I gotta get up early on my holiday. Um, I'm just so you guys know, as we're growing um with this call, and there are more and more of us. I will start implementing breakout rooms pretty soon here. And uh, how it's probably going to work is we'll probably split up in two groups. And my lovely uh, co-leader, Noelle, offered to moderate one of the groups and I'll moderate the other. And then what we'll do is we'll just take our 10 or 15 minutes to state our goals. And then I will go into whatever discussion we're having that day on something that will also give me a little more time that will give us a little more time to discuss some things that help us in our businesses and grow. Everyone good with that? Yeah, awesome. So, but today looks like we're good and, and I think I can manage the group today. We'll do breakout rooms when I, I think when we're like more than 15 to 20 people here. That's when it starts getting kind of tough to get through the call and get everything done. But uh, right now uh, we're at 19. So I think we're good for now, uh, Noel. I'll let you know if that changes. Uh, welcome everyone. So good to see everybody. Uh, we had our first call after the conference. How's everyone feeling now? Are we kind of recovered from all that craziness? Feeling good? Yes, yes, yes. There's Charlie. There's Marissa. Oh, look like we might try those breakout rooms today. We will. <laughs> I, uh, I personally have not. So what I want to do today is I, I want to start with our little topic today before we do our goals for the week, uh, because today I want to talk about resilience. And uh, I love that word. It, it means so many things, but I think in business, I believe you all will agree that in order to be successful in business and in life, we all need to understand resilience and we understand how to create resilience in our lives. Um, Beatrice comes to mind because of her um, because of her military background, because in the military, absolutely, you will not survive. And it's a great place to learn resilience, right? And I equate that with my uh, my life in the, in the performance industry as a dancer. And I think if you've done anything at a high level, no matter what it is, sport, played an instrument, uh, been in the military, anything that really requires grit, commitment, discipline, all those things uh, create resilience. Um, and I thought about this again, because uh, when Noelle interviewed me the other day, she asked me, she said, what did you learn from the performance industry that has helped you as a as an entrepreneur? And actually everything, literally everything. And, and, and resilience comes to mind, but also, of course, commitment, discipline, tenacity, uh, grit. It taught me um, to how to be more creative even than I am because we need creativity as entrepreneurs and of course, a positive mindset. Um, so just a little bit about resilience here before we uh, go around with our goals. Who here feels like they are resilient human beings? I think most of us, I think majority of us have experienced enough in our lives to create a great amount of resilience. And we all know that it is important thing in business and in life. So what is resilience? Resilience is an ability to recover or adjust easily to misfortune or change. So when we're resilient, that means we can quickly and easily bounce back from things in life they can leave us feeling stuck or even wants us to give up, right? 
things like problems with finances, medical emergencies, relationship issues, divorce, you know, breakups, work stuff, illness, loss of loved ones, all these things are hardships that all of us experience at some point in our lives. But with resiliency, we learn to harness our personal power to use those setbacks to fuel us and keep us moving forward. So ask yourself, are you capable of tapping into your own power and harness those misfortunes to help you move forward. I think we've all, you know, as we go on in life, we've all had to learn to do that. So resilience is important because it is our secret weapon to be the best of the best and tackle problems and setbacks head on. It provides us with a healthy way to manage stress, acknowledge problems and source solutions that keeps us moving forward which we always should be doing. <laughs> so I'm going to just um, mention a few little things here that you can do to help build resilience. Okay, number one is embracing change. And a lot of these things are kind of recurring. You know, we've talked about the fear of failure. We've talked about a lot of other things in this call. And I think the theme runs through with resilience. It's kind of a similar, similar thing. So number one, we want to be able to embrace change. Change is Change is inevitable. We all know that change happens in life. So if you don't, don't like change, you need to start learning to love it. Because as an entrepreneur, change happens on a daily basis. Things happen, um, occurrences, uh, things that sometimes feel outside of our control. Uh, so, in, But instead of fighting change or even ignoring it, we have to learn to embrace it so that life can help us work through the challenges that's presented to us at any given time. So number one is embracing change, right? Number two is a positive attitude. I'm happy to say that in our Achieve community, I feel like we have a bunch of amazing, positive people. I, I feel the positive. You all that were at the conference experienced it again. Uh, the positivity is definitely something that is important to us as a community. Uh, when we bring you guys in with us, one of the one of the first things we look at is, you know, are you heart centered? Are you a giver? And do you have a positive attitude? Because we're all contagious as human beings. And uh, we get one negative person in the room can ruin the uh, the atmosphere very, very quickly. So thank you all for being positive influences and positive human beings, because Having resilience requires you to embrace a positive way of thinking. So when you're faced with failure or setbacks, instead of defaulting to complaining and blaming others, being a victim, right? Um, it's about looking at the silver linings, finding the positive in the negative, finding those silver linings in those uh, challenges and problems that we get faced with. We've already talked about failure, but just like change, you have to get familiar with failure because what did we say? There's no such thing as failure, right? There's just uh, experience. We learn from all our failures. So resilience, uh, resilience is about embracing failure and understanding that with action comes failure sometimes and failure is nothing but a learning experience and a way for us to get better and better and better at what we do, so failure. And then last but not least, remember you're in charge. You're the author of your story, right? Learning to build resilience is about being focused on making progress. And when it doesn't feel like things are going your way, you might want to blame outside circumstances or even others as the reason why things are happening to you, right? But as we know, in this community, we talk about things don't happen to you, but for you. And it's about getting out of that victim mindset and going, what can I do to rewrite this situation, to rewrite my story? How can I look at this from a positive angle? You hold the power over how your story goes. No one else 
can create your story for you. You are the author. So instead of seeing adversity as something impossible to overcome, uh, reposition your story to first acknowledge adversity. So first acknowledge it and then shift your focus to finding new smaller solutions to the larger problem. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. That's how we win. We win by taking those small steps and getting us closer to the large goal. All right, so I hope that was helpful for all of you. Anybody want to add anything, uh, have any comments? Yes, Beatrice. I just want to say this, and maybe this will encourage somebody. In 2018, my husband of um, almost 30 years passed. And when he passed, that took the, that sucked the lifeblood out of me. But then I looked at my four children, all of them adults, and I looked at how they were grieving and how they were just taking the process. And then it came to me, it dawned on me, and I know it was the Lord because I pray a lot and I had to stay before him because if not, it would have been me right there beside my husband. And I looked at my kids and I said, you know what, Lord, we have got to move forward in spite of, not move on, but move forward because there are still things for us to do on this earth. And I want to encourage everybody on here. Yes, you're going to be beat down. You're going to be knocked down. People are going to talk about you like a dog. But at the end of the day, you have been called here on this earth for a specific purpose. And you've got to move forward because if you don't, somebody that's waiting to see you do the things that you do, they're not going to see you and they're not going to be able to move forward. So I just want to encourage y'all today, accept it but then move forward so that you can get to the places that you are supposed to be in this lifetime. I hope that encourages somebody. God bless y'all. Amen, sister. <laughs> Liz, do you have your hand up too? Liz Rutledge, my darling. Are you there? Huh. Oh, Serena? Well, I was going to say I'm a heart math trainer and the definition of resilience with them is the capacity to prepare for, recover from, and adapt in the face of stress, challenges, and adversity. Because you know when you're going to encounter a situation that you know is going to be challenging, whether it's a presentation or a confrontation or whatever it might be, that you can prepare for beforehand to bring your best self forward because you can't control what other people do. You can only control what you do. So. Correct, correct. And can you uh, post that? Uh, yeah, the definition. Yeah, in chat. Yeah, yeah I'll do that. Yeah, right. Fantastic. It's okay, Liz, no problem. Uh, if you wanted to just uh, do voice, you can, but otherwise we're good. Uh, fantastic, I see. All right, you guys. So I want to I wanna try the breakout rooms today. I've never done it before, <laughs> so bear with me. I, I want to see how this goes. So we want two breakout rooms. But now, um, how do I know where you go, Noel? Assign manually. I guess I can assign manually. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Room one, room two. Assign. Where are you, Noel? I got you here. Um, where? Oh, there we go. Robert and Noel. Okay. So I have half of you. I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So we have two rooms. I'll be taking the one room. Noel will be taking the other room. Let's state our number one goal of um of the week. And then we will come back in about uh 10 12 minutes 10 or 12 minutes okay so let's do this let's see how it works um oops join oh i don't know what i did <laughs> uh yeah
So it looks like we we don't have. Oh, there's Noel. Okay, good. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> that didn't work out right. I got to try this one more time. Bear with me today. I'm so Vanessa, you can just hop into another room. Just go to your breakout room and just move into the other room. Oh, okay. Now I don't know what happened. All breakout rooms will close in 43 seconds. Okay, well, that didn't work for now. So um, let's just, I don't know what we, happened. We can try it on our own during the week, Vanessa. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what just happened. Let's just quickly all do our goal for the week. Okay, let's go. Kim, you're number one. Do it. <laughs> okay, me, Kim, there's sometimes there's two or three Kims. Yeah, on it's you, Ms. Conrad. Me. Okay, yeah. I've got lots going on. It's um, so number one goal, finally move forward with just like we're talking about with this Google Workspace YouTube thing. It's really confusing. And okay. so um, figure, figure that out and make progress on it. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Those of you who just joined back in, I'm sorry. I got that all wrong. So we're just going to do this quickly. <laughs> and then next week, I'll be prepared to know how to do this properly. <laughs> I'm just figuring it out. All right. So Phyllis, what's your number one goal for this week? Still follow up from last week, getting through everything, but I also am going to have fun with out of town guests and I've got two grandbabies with birthdays two days apart. So fun family and follow up. Woohoo! Love it. The three F's and <laughs> not the three, three C's. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, Ted, it was so great to see you at the conference. What are you up to this week? So last week was all about follow up. So I got all my emails out. Now I have to do all my connections and get my appointments set and follow up the ones that replied. Yay. All right. Good job. Fantastic. Monica, wonderful to see you again this morning. Thank you. So glad to be here. So my uh, two main goals this week really, I guess, are to have a meeting with my alpha today. So we're going to finish tightening up that business plan and make sure that it's ready to go for Achieve University coming up in August, just so y'all know. And I am also um, really working on trying to get some appearances. I need to get on some podcasts or TV shows or something. I've got to keep getting the word out about what I'm doing. So I'm excited about reaching out to people and going in that direction. Fantastic. You know, we have quite a few podcast hosts on this actual call. So if you uh, want Monica to join you on your podcast, reach out to her. She's fabulous. And Monica, have I connected you with Julie Ann yet? No, I don't think so. Okay, we got to do that. Shoot me a text and say, Vanessa, connect me with Julie Ann, please. I will. And by the way, if anyone needs a reference, go to Jeff Pearson. I've been on his show and he's wonderful. Yes, yes. Thanks for letting them know. Jeff is awesome. Noah, welcome. Good to see you. You're muted. I can't hear you. Oh, and actually, it's okay if we run over this morning. I don't have another class to run to, so it's all right. Noah, we can't hear you. I'll come back to you in a sec. For some reason, you're still muted. Um, Wendy, why don't you go in the meantime, and then we'll go back to oh, Noah. Oh, there's Noah. We yeah. got him. We got I was it. trying to figure out how to unmute. It's, got, it's different yeah. when you're on your phone versus on the computer. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> it's just so right what's, there. What's up for you this week? What's your number one goal, Noah? Uh, just busy. I'm actually, as we were on the Zoom, I'm actually trying trying to connect with Robert this week. So we're, as I know you guys just got back uh, into California, so it'd be great to connect with him. Absolutely, yes. Text him. That's the best way to do it. Well, we're doing that right now as we're speaking. <laughs> oh, good. Awesome. Yeah, he's at Starbucks working, going for it. Exactly. Fantastic. So we will connect. I'm looking forward to seeing you, Noah. Yeah, you too. All right. Thank you, Wendy. Hi, guys. Hello. My main focus this week is getting my workshops put together and all the worksheets and everything that goes along with it. So, um, Lots of content and getting some good feedback from the, my Achieve friends and seeing how that develops. Yes, yes. I, I really love what you're putting together, girl. Looking Thank great. You. Yep, 
Yep, yep. Oliver, how are you today? I am busy as always. Yeah, as always, I got a lot of irons in the fire. So just to make it simple, how about just uh, trying to finish up my first two chapters in my new upcoming book that's going to be on, you know, just disease and disease recovery and all that. So it's a lot that goes to it, but I'll just try to state that here and you can all keep me accountable. We will. We will. So get that book knocked out. Good job, Oliver. Fantastic. Miss Sue Adams, so good to see you. She's got fireworks in the background. Love it there. <laughs> Hi, good to see everyone. My main, I have my lead magnet done. I will have my landing page done and my email set up. Okay, so your, your email set up. Well, wonderful. So what's yeah. next? for just getting myself out there for my email campaign. Good, good, good. So now that you have everything in place, start uh, broadcasting who mm -hmm. you are so people can tap into what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Awesome, Sue. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Noel. Man, I got so much off my plate last week. Um, we're still following up and just trying to make some wonderful connections and doing my A5 is probably my biggest thing to, to keep going as I plan out the next couple months. Keep going with the A5. Fabulous. Thanks, Noel. All right, Jeff Pearson. Oh, all right. Hello, everybody. By the way, just have to throw this out there. Today is our 24th anniversary, so we're going to be doing some celebrating later. So that'll be fun going to dinner and all that, but, um, so yay. yay. Um, so what we're, what we're working on right now is automation, automation, automation of social media, of emails, of newsletters, of stuff that goes out to people that's going to be on the show to all the, just, it's especially social media. It takes forever. So I, and, and follow up, we're still following up with people from the conference. So, so between those two, yeah. Fantastic, Jeff. Congratulations. Oh, and Vanessa, we still need to touch base about something that you were going to fix for us. So I just want to throw that out, throw that out there. I'll, I'll text you later. <laughs> yeah, please remind me. Yes. Um, it's not popping up in my head right now. So <laughs> somewhere there's a note. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, Kat, welcome, sweetheart. How's, how are you today? And what have you got going on this week? What's your number one goal? Hi there. Yeah, so I'm recuperating from this past weekend because my daughter had her dance recital. So that was fun. Love <laughs> it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm still trying to follow up with everybody from the conference. And then I have got to put together the newsletter for one of my clients because they send it out the first of the month. So middle of the month, they send me all their content so I can put it together. So I'm going to try and get that together to get today for them. And then, of course, just um doing the website maintenance for a couple of my clients and that is my goal to get those done sounds like you have your to-do list all <laughs> knocked out good job fantastic cat thank you mr david pike good to see you hey sorry i wasn't able to be out there at the event but i heard it was fantastic and i'll be at the next one for sure um I'm juggling a lot. I've got four major, major projects that I'm working on, and it's a real challenge to juggle it. So I'm trying to delegate my day for each one, so I do a little bit each day. So um, it's it's quite a quite an undertaking, and probably taking on way too much than I should have. But sometimes things are too good to pass up on. So um, you know you got to find a way to squeeze those in because you know, like somebody said earlier. You got a little fires and you got a bunch of irons and you want to have those cooking, you know, because you never know which one is really going to uh, break free. I'm involved, obviously, in the one that I've talked about for, for a few months now, and that's going great. But if something else comes around, too, and you want to put your iron in there and, and, and let it cook for a little bit and see if it works. So I've got a lot going on. Well, good for you and good for doing that time management thing. It, uh, it yeah. can be challenging, but uh, hey, we all got to just do that. Do that, Thank do that. Good know. job, David. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Beatrice, what is your number one goal for the week, my lovely darling? I am currently working on a book. It's called Slaying the Giants of Your Lives. And I am creating a giant slayer. I don't know if y'all can see that. 
a giant sling kick. This is a slingshot. And those of you familiar with the Bible, you know that David used a slingshot to kill his greatest giant, which was Goliath. And so in this packet is going to have a slingshot, anointing oil, a little um, booklet, and it's to help people to remember that regardless of what they're going through, they have the anointing of David to go and slay their giants in this world. So that's what I'm working on this week. That's awesome. Stay tuned, y'all. I love the I love the little kit you're putting together with your book. That's awesome. Beautiful. Mac, what's up? Hey, darling. Uh, you know, I think it's real interesting. And in, in the breakout group, I started to say it before we got cut off that the, the word uh, resilience, um, we're, we all are faced with challenges. One of the things that uh, I've noticed is that um, in the past, I've chased a lot of opportunities and that, and what I've uh, been working on is not chasing. I put the information out there. If people don't follow up with me, I'll give them a follow-up call, but I'm not going to, you know, call them every five minutes. And that, uh, that to me, it's not something that I have to chase. Um, I did get invited uh, to be on uh, the board of a political group, uh, part of that uh, conservative summit that I was at last weekend also, uh, which is a national group. And uh, so some of my time will be going to that. But uh, we have to keep the irons in the fire. I think David kind of said it. We, we, we all get very busy with a lot of different things. We have to go after the things that are positive. Right. Thank you, Mac. Yes, and absolutely. I love that you said you're not chasing anymore. It's never worth, it's never really worth our time to chase people. You have to do your follow-up. You have to do your due diligence. But if it's not reciprocal, you guys, let it go. There's more. There's always more out there, you know. Uh, do, do your follow-up. Do the one, the twice, maybe three reach outs and then be done, you know. Thank you, Mac. Awesome. Uh, Eva? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. All of a sudden, it seems to have lost volume. Can you hear me? I can hear you very well, yes. Okay, so um, this week I'm doing some follow up. I um, I got I'm working on some um, high profile guests for my show and um, trying to get dates, get them come on. One of them is Vanessa Raymond. <laughs> wow. But, um, <laughs> and trying to get that doing so we can actually turn that into an income producing. Um, want to actually have one of my circles become income producing and then um, just all the paperwork and everything with the A5 and the follow-ups in the conference. Fantastic girl. Wonderful. Yes. And I'll see you Wednesday. I got to send you that promo video. I'll get that out to you today. <laughs> yes. I need, I, I need, I need your commercial girl. I'll send it baby. I'll see okay. you soon. Thank you. Um, Serena. Hello, everyone. I'm really excited because I have the honor to be on Jeff's show and really excited about that this week. And then also Liz and I are collaborating and growing our wings and ready to fly. Woohoo! Have a great show. I'm sure it's going to be fabulous looking forward I'm excited to and today. happy anniversary, Jeff. Yeah, happy anniversary, Jeff. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, Serena. Dr. Larry. You're muted, honey. Got to press the little uh, microphone button. Okay. How's that work? Gotcha. Works a lot better, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, just follow up from the seminar, which I think was the best one I've been to. It was really, really exciting, fun. And uh, follow up, and then we're doing a couple of videos for the website tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. And just, uh, you know, how... It, what words am I going to say and how's it going to empower things? And so that's exciting. A little preparation that's, for those. Yeah, days. that's Fantastic. what I'm doing. Yeah, you're, uh, you're moving forward, Dr. Larry. So wonderful to see, to see things happen and grow for you. Um, all right, Liz, I don't know. Can you speak? I know you can't be on camera. 
Uh, are you able to talk to us? Can you hear me? Yes. I really am not prepared to be on camera today, but why not? I do want to just share that, Serena, I've been traveling for three weeks. That's why I wasn't at the Biz Explosion Conference. But I just wanted to share that Serena and I are going live tomorrow. We've been taking a social media detox and resting and recovering and resetting. And we would love for any of you who are available to join us tomorrow at 1.11 p.m. Mountain because we're going to be doing an Instagram live and we would just love to find out like in the spirit of resilience, what challenges are you guys dealing with? So we're, we're trying to create re-engagement with this live, but then going forward, just being better at like <clears throat> not chasing, but being present for what people want. What do they want from us? How can we support them with the tools that we have? So that's our big thing. Uh, tomorrow we're resetting and re-engaging on social media and following up from the business conference because Serena is there. Fabulous, Liz. Yes, and we totally missed your beautiful face there, your smile. Um, but <laughs> the travels, hope the travels went well. And um, please post uh, your Instagram link in the chat so people know where to connect with you tomorrow if they can make it. All right. Will do. Thanks. Fantastic. Thank you, Liz. All right, Marissa, I believe you're the last one here, but not least. <laughs> Hi, gorgeous. Hi. So my weekly goal last week, I didn't hop on the call, but last week I finalized my website. I've been building that since Achieve University. So I finally got it. I got my online booking ready to go. I got my um catalog online I got all my like offers listed and stuff now this week I am working on authoring three books the first of which is going to be my first poetry book um I'm really excited about that one and yeah I'm I feel confident about the progress that I've made and um I feel like this chat today has helped me a lot because I've been dealing a lot with like my own resilience and my own strength and trying to show up as my best self um, and part of, like part of why I've been struggling, I guess, is because I have had a lot of traumatic experiences in the last maybe six years. And instead of running from that, I'm here facing them head on. And that's why I've committed to the books. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited for growth and excited to be here. <laughs> proud of you, sweetheart. Proud of you. Fantastic. We're so happy to have you here as part of the community. It was wonderful to see you at the conference. And uh, yeah, girl, that's the only way to do it face those things head on uh, that doesn't help us to hide from it or run away from it because it will keep chasing us but facing it head on that's the way to uh, build resilience and to uh, get past and through it right we have to go through it no way around it or over it or under it it's through it right exactly <laughs> exactly awesome so did I get everybody this morning I didn't miss anyone right well, fantastic. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your day. If you have the luxury to take a little time off, I know it's a public holiday. Please enjoy that. Jump back in tomorrow. If you're jumping in today, go for it. Have a very successful week. I love you all. I'm going to be enjoying California for a bit, but if you need anything, you know I'm here for you. Just reach out. So uh, have a beautiful day. Have a wonderful week. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.